Welcome to the We All Juggle Knives channel. This is the Topps MSK Mini Scandi Knife. Real slow cut. It comes with a very nice edge. You know, obviously, Scandi grind, meaning there's no edge bevel. Primary bevel, the grind just terminates into the edge itself seamlessly. No edge bevel. Nice slow cut there. Yeah, this is uh, it's one sharp edge. 1095 high carbon steel. The blade length is about two and three quarters inches. I measure from the top of the middle of the scale to the tip. Is a very pointed tip. See it's two-tone. And you know there's just there's a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff you can do with a small knife. This is jute cord. You can get it from the dollar store. Now I think that cutting cordage is a one of the main duties of a small slicing knife like this. The jute cord is very fibrous. It's not hard to cut, but it is hard as far as um, dulling the edge of a knife because, well, as I said, it's just very fibrous, very fibrous material there. But it's going to be no problem for that edge. Oh, I got some paracord here. Whoop. We'll test out that fire starter too. But equally good at the paracord and uh, you know I cut paracord in order to uh, to make lanyards stuff like that uh, you can use the paracord as little uh, you know to tie up uh, if you're building a shelter sometimes it's useful to just uh, tie and lash some parts of it All right now this will go through paracord but uh, you know, easily go through paracord. Comes with this sheath, it's a Kydex sheath. The knife itself is about two and a half ounces, and then whatever whatever you think this weighs, along with the whistle. Now you can see that collar there basically locks it in. It is a little too tight, actually. You, you need to, uh, yeah, a real firm pull. They make it extra tight because it's a neck knife, and if you're wearing it like this, they're afraid it'll fall out. But it is a little too tight to the point where it actually causes visible wear and tear on the micarta scale. So it actually causes a slight amount of damage. Alright, so the, the sheath is a little bit a little bit too tight. Another thing you can do with a small knife is bore a divot into wood. Alright, with uh, you know, you're basically hand drilling a small indentation into the wood there. All right, it's a little divot. That's used in some types of fire starting. Another thing you can do with a small knife, well, before we do that, let's, uh, let's test the fire starter. This is a fire starter from Schrade. Comes with their large kukri machete. Now, you can't use a uh, the part with the coating, I've tried it, it, just doesn't work. You have to use this part up here. Alright. Oh, by the way, I do have multiple ways to put out a fire. In the unlikely event that a spark starts anything on fire, I have safety precautions in place, and you should too. See that? So yes, you can use this as a striker good to know okay and you know you can you can make uh, notches here's some notches that I made but right, you could make that kind of notch or that kind of notch using this let's see if we can uh, hold on let me go around
All right, and there you go. You know, the beginnings of a little notch like that. And you can make notches of different shape, okay? All right, and then what you do, you have that notch, and then you, you push it diagonally like that. All right, so you can make notches of different shape, like these here. And then you can fit them together to build uh, a trap or to build a shelter. So very useful. You know, just about the only thing I wouldn't do with this would be uh, food prep. It's definitely sharp enough that you could, uh, you could skin some game, but I'm talking about slicing through food because with this two-tone, this finish here is rough, meaning it's going to, it's going to pick up dirt and also it could flake off. So I wouldn't be cutting through anything you're going to eat because the dirt and pieces of, of the finish could get in the food. So I wouldn't do food prep with this. All right, and this brings us to useful comparisons. Okay, so we have the MSK in the middle here. This is an Azula 2. You know, the Azula and Azula 2, extremely popular. You see the MSK noticeably smaller uh, thinner, slimmer, shorter than even an Azula 2. This is the Benchmark, Benchmark, not Benchmade, <laughs> Benchmark Backpacker. You can see it's actually very comparable in size to that MSK. Here's one of the only knives I found that's like smaller than an MSK. This is a Boca Rambler. Boca Rambler. There's not many Scandi folders, but uh, this Enzo folder, you see it's smaller uh, when it's folded and a little bit bigger. Blade length is very comparable. All right, so that's, I guess, it's folding competition. You can check out my review of this. I'll include a link to that review. The super nice White River Knives Caper that I reviewed previously, it's a bit bigger than the MSK. And a blackjack neck knife, awesome knife. Definitely highly recommend this. It's a slightly wider, basically, than the MSK. And another Topps knife in their line. All right, the Topps Cub, definitely much bigger. You know, this is the extra small, and this would be the medium size in this uh, line. All right, so there are your uh, your comparisons. So what is my overall opinion on this uh, Topps MSK? The price is actually pretty reasonable, $60. It's very ergonomic. It's got a three finger handle. It's got some jimping on a thumb rest there. The grind is awesome. It's a strong design, you know, full tang, high carbon steel. It's really hard to imagine anything smaller and lighter that would be anywhere near as functional. I think they've actually done it. They've found like the smallest and lightest a knife can be that was that is still uh, very useful. All right, so definitely, yeah, it's it's definitely uh, worth the price. I would say. I mean, this is just a perfect little knife. I think it would also be good in the suburbs. I don't have any cardboard to slice up out here, but um, yeah, as a small fixed blade knife for workmen, for technicians, for repairmen, for shipping, for warehouse people, um, this would actually be a, a good EDC fixed blade, okay, for those uses as well. All right, so outdoors, indoors, recreation, on the job, survival. For its length and weight, this is actually a superb design. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed seeing this knife and a little bit of action, getting my thoughts on it. This has been We All Juggle Knives with another knife review. Stay tuned for many more. I'm out.